Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's great to be here again and um, be giving you a bit of an update. There's plenty going on in Magnetic. Yeah, so we, we talked at one of the conferences um, down south and um, we put out our results statement. Uh, one point, we've got 1.2 million ounces um, at 1.7 grams, but within that, the main deposit, which is called Lady Julie North 4, is 852,000 ounces, but at two grams per tonne, which, which is an exceptional um, grade for an open cup. Uh, we, we own our land 100% and we're within trucking distance of three separate mills. And um, we're actually due to put out a pre-feasibility results. And as you can imagine, the results will be very, very good. Um, market cap's 240 million. Um, we've had a reasonable share performance this year. Um, pr pretty tightly held stock. Um, got the top four owned 45%, uh, the top 20 owned 71%. And L Laverton is about 300 kilometres north of Kalgoorlie. Um, discovery wise, Hawks S9 was the first one. Then we discovered Lady Julie Central. Last but not least is Lady Julie North 4, um, which was discovered around 2021. Serious amount of drilling, so this is a development story. It's about 150,000 metres of drilling completed. Okay, so location wise, we're, uh, we actually stay at Laverton. We're 15 kilometres to the south. We're next door to some of the big, uh, big deposits, Wallaby and Sunrise Dam, but those mills are um, very close. And this is a, another map showing those mills. Um, two of the mills are less than half capacity um, and we're within 10, 15 k's of those two mills. So there's an opportunity uh, to do deals and a lot of these companies are in our data room if, if you're not aware. Okay, so H9, it's only uh, two k's from Lady Julie Central and Lady Julie North Four is a further two k's away. Lady Julie North Four sits on the Chatterbox Shear, which is a major structure. And um, Lady Julie North Four is, is the main thing we're talking about today. The resource that we put out in November, there was a 107% increase from the February resource. And Lady Julie went up by 300 odd percent from 200 to 850. So significant increases and we expect the same moving on. H9 is a surface deposit, and that's what uh, led me to keep drilling. Um, then we discovered Lady Julie Central, uh, and that deposit has some remarkable high-grade intersections from surface, and most likely will be a starter, the starter pit. But the third one, uh, Lady Julie North 4, has 30 metres of transported overburn over the top, but nevertheless, the intersections uh, have been significant and as we go deeper, they seem to get better and better. And, and this is the one that most of the market is becoming excited about. Okay, so this is a plan. It's about 700 metres long. Um, it's increasing in an east direction. There's an upper and lower um, hanging wall. Uh, upper, yeah. And, and uh, well, there's two cross sections. Uh, that we'll see, and you can see some of the intersections are pretty good. Uh, you know, 30 metres at 5.5 grams, 21 at 5.4. Uh, we stepped out by 60 metres and we've encountered a 40 metre intersection of the breccia silica pyrite alteration. Most of the time that's well, well min mineralised and, um, and we are con continuing drilling in that area. Um, to scope out how, how big this is. The second cross-section is one that we published previously and it had our best intersection of 133 metres to 2.9. And you can see we've already completed a, a deeper drill hole and we're waiting for those results. All the drilling we're doing to date are diamond drilling um, because of the depth that we're going to. Now the next cross section was a, truly a, a big step out um, and you can see the actual resource um, is in the top uh, 250 metres in there 
and we stepped out downwards 200 metres below it and we intersected 16 at 4.5 grams and that's a uh, good, good underground grade. Um, nevertheless, it pointed to the, this um, down dip extent of 550 metres, which is really pretty amazing and we obviously haven't closed that off. Um, it appears to be open, well, it will be open because we haven't drilled down that deep, but it does give you the big, big potential size of the system. I mean, look, previously we, we estimated every 100 metres that we go downwards, the resource will increase by approximately 100 to 150,000 ounces, but obviously we need to do the drilling, but it looks pretty exciting. Okay, so this is an interesting map in that we made a comparison between ourselves and many other companies with production or near production as an open pit. And our Lady Julie Northfall is, is number one on the list, averaging two grams per tonne. Even if we included Lady Julie with H and nine and Lady Julie Central, the average would be 1.9, so it's still higher than the rest. So that'll give you a bit of an understanding that this pre-feasibility result that we're putting out will be a, pretty exceptional based on that graph alone. Um, look, we presented this previously and it's something that I think most, um, I guess, gold companies should put out. It's a grade thickness map. It's a long section of the foot wall, which is in this case the main mineralised zone, but it does give you an understanding of what you're dealing with. And from our point of view, it's allowed us to step, step out the um, hole 33, which had the 16 at four and a half grams, is way below, down here. Uh, nevertheless, uh, using the, the sort of information and structural interp allowed us to put that deeper hole down. So um, it's, it's a, way, a good way of representing what you have. Okay, look, I've shown this before, but there are some big deposits, Wallaby, Sunrise Dam, um, they are stacked downwards. Um, we, we currently have about three stacks, but we, we haven't drilled deep enough. These deposits go down to a couple of kilometres extent. Um, we note that um, Sunrise Dam have these breccia zones, which are, which are shown as yellow dashes, and they make their way close to the surface. Um, you can see them making their way close to the surface. And we think that's in some ways similar to what we're finding because we have some very thick breach zones. And this is what they look like. And you can see the angular nature of the class um, and the silica pyrite. As we go north in our deposit, uh, we actually get um, bleached, altered ultramafix as well. So all the rock types are, are strongly altered. This gravity map shows you the extent of the Chatterbox shear. And note that it goes from, starts from Beasley Creek, which is mined out, Apollo, which has been mined out, our Lady Julie North Fork, and all the way down to Wallaby, which is a seven million ounce deposit. Um, this is a major structural feature. It's a mineralised feature, and you can actually see it in seismic as well. Um, you can see the, you can see this structure here, um, and that actually is a Lady, uh, the Chatterbox here, which Lady Julie North Force sits on. Um, the extent of that structure is about one and a half k's, and we've only drilled down about 550 metres so far. Um, you know, the, the information so far points to that structure being mineralised as well at depth, and that's part of the upside of what we have. Okay, in the background, we're, we've done all these studies as part of the pre-feasibility and also for our mining lease um, proposals. Um, we're, we've started the negotiations on native title. Uh, metallurgy so far has been fantastic. Um, so everything, everything is good. Um, so hopefully we can get these, um, put the pre-fees out, continue our drilling and get ready for production. So in summary, um, we've done pretty well and we're gonna continue um, our drilling at, at the same time, pre feasibility will show how good it is, and, and um, we'll see where it, where, it, where it, we all end up. Thanks very much.